I spent eight hours on my screen time and like one third of my life and the eight, other eight hours I was sleeping so there was eight hours of my life that I'm actually online and digital rights matter in that sense like it takes up so much of our own space in a way and we don't care about it enough because it doesn't feel as real as seeing someone being beaten up or seeing someone being violated in a way. But it matters because it determines what we get to see online, what we don't get to see online, what is allowed and what is not allowed. And it also comes to our privacy. Uh, how do because privacy is one of the key things that builds up to democracy and freedoms. So if we don't have the right to live or the right to private life or the right to be alone, then there is a lot of things that won't happen. And it also empowers people to participate in politics. Like for example, we're in Taiwan right now, and Taiwan is known to be one of the best city when it comes to. Uh, digitization and open government, open data, and these infrastructures and openness on based on technology allow people to participate in politics, trying to contribute to the community. You don't have to wait for the government to do something for you. You can do it first. And there is a motto in the open community that says, "Don't ask why nobody is doing it. You are the nobody," which is like very true. And it helps people to take part in policy advocacy without being part of the government, and it makes politics and social issues much more accessible in a way.